Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, and in today's video, I thought it would be really fun to take you with me into the dark room. It's been, I've, we've been way overdue for a dark room video, so I'm really excited to put this together for you all. I'm going to be playing with some slow shutter speeds and also playing around with doing some post production manipulation in the dark room. So, so I'm really excited, and I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. <laughs> So this is the setup we have right now. I've got one soft box that's right here, right off to the side. And then I'm just photographing on my living room wall. We have this black chalkboard wall. So it gives a really nice dark texture to any sorts of studio images that I wanna do. So this is gonna be a really great backdrop. So I've got my film camera right here. I'm photographing on 400 ISO film. Um, it's, I'm pretty sure it's like Kodak. The smaller number of ISO you go, that is just basically the level of sensitivity to the light that the film has. So 100 ISO is the least sensitive to light, so that will be really ideal for bright sunny days or for something like this where we want to really control, we want to let in as much light as possible through the shutter speed itself. Aperture is at f22, so that means that it's like the smallest pinprick of light that the um, aperture ring can go to and basically that will increase or decrease my depth of field or how many things are in focus or not so f22 will have the most things in focus so this will also f22 will also let in the least amount of light because we want to let in the most amount of light with the um, with recording the passage of time in the shutter speed. So I'm anticipating that this shutter speed is gonna end up being like three seconds or something like that. So that will be perfect for making this sort of portrait when I'm having my face right here near the light and then I can slowly move my face across the scene as my shutter is open recording the light moving across, you know. So I'm really excited for that. We'll go ahead and get set up and get started. All right, so it's now day two of this day in the dark room, but I developed the film and we let it sit and dry overnight and I've printed out my contact sheet. So the concept for today is, you know, yesterday we photographed the subject um, with the passage of time moving their face across the screen. For this, I have been doing a 
not necessarily series, but I have a reoccurring element of these neon kind of words that continually pop up in my work over the years. So I want to do another one of those images today because um, I've done words on film before but not necessarily like neon focused. So we're going to be putting some neon words on the image today and I think it'll turn out pretty cool. And this is the finished image, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I would still say this is more of an experiment than a final piece of work. I ideally want to blur out the text even more and make it a little bit more neon in just, you know, dodging and burning in post-production. And plus I want to do it on nicer paper. This is just, you know, RC um, student I think it's Arista EDU, you know, paper, the student grade kind of paper, so. I'm really happy with the finished result. The, the way I did it, you know, we've got this really nice extra texture on the finished piece, which I personally enjoy. I know some people, um, you know, don't like this kind of texture, but I, it really reminds me of the early days of my photography career where I would do, you know, light work and, and have the, the fairy dust sprinkled throughout the light, so it, it's really reminiscent of that for me, um, which is nice. So I'm very happy with how this experiment turned out and I'm looking forward to printing, you know, this on a much larger scale in something that's a more fine art capacity rather than this little experiment. But I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very fun to take you with me into the darkroom again. I know it's been far too long, um, but I'm hoping to do a lot more. And February vlog is going to be pretty exciting. So. Stay tuned for that. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments or anything at all. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye!